Hi there, Vinyl Community. My name's Tom. You're watching High Rant District. Uh, today I want to show you uh, the Christmas albums that I own. I, uh, I've, I have had a few more in the past, but I've kind of shrunk things down once I decided my Christmas albums needed an ethos, you know, kind of a, a, a direction. And, and I, I'm always kind of refining that, you know, a direction of some sort when it comes to, you know, the records that I actually hang on to and pursue. Uh, my my ethos for Christmas records is that, you know, I want it to be an album. I want it to be a, a single artist album. That's the deal. I, I want somebody, you know, an, an, an artist, a musician to have committed to the record uh, because then I feel like the record has more meaning, as silly as it might sound. But to me, it's preferable because when I look at compilations, uh, particularly from different artists, you know, I see that it's just like a, you know, almost like a K-Tel thing or some some pointless random corporation throwing together, you know, a bunch of songs from different musicians to try to capitalize on Christmas. Not that the records, the artists that I'm showing on these records aren't doing the same things, but, you know, they made a commitment. It's like one artist doing a Christmas album. They believe in it, so I believe it can exist in my home. Uh, I'll, start, I'll do these in chronological order. I don't have a whole lot of them. Got uh, five. And we'll start off with the uh, 1963 release of Johnny Cash, The Christmas Spirit. This is on Columbia, Columbia Records, uh, 2i. And uh, here's the back of it. You know, I like country music and uh, something about country music and Christmas that just kind of works together. I don't know why that is, but it is. The Christmas Spirit, Johnny Cash. Uh, next up, 1979 brought us Willie Nelson, Pretty Paper. You can see Willie's happy about the record. His track list again, country music. And Christmas just seemed to go together. That's on a plain old Columbia label. Ah, 1979 Columbia is what it's going to look like. Uh, next up is uh, from... What year was this? 1988, I believe. Uh, it's uh, the Pogues, uh, If I Should Fall From Grace With God. Now, now this one comes with an asterisk because it's not a Christmas album to most people. However, it contains the song The Fairy Tale of New York, which is perhaps the best Christmas song ever written. If I, if I recall how it, the story went, uh, I think uh, Elvis Costello was producing the record and challenged Shane McGowan to, to write a great Christmas song and and out it came uh, with uh, singing it with uh, Kirsten McCall. It's a it's a classic song. Uh, it's a great album. It's not really a Christmas album, but to me, like when it's Christmas time, this is an album I pull out. It's on uh, Pogue Mahone Records. Here's what the label looks like. It's got a printed inner with lyrics on it. Uh, this is an original on Pogue Mahone Records, and my understanding is that, uh, and somebody in Ireland can correct me if this is wrong, but my understanding is that Pogue Mahone is Gaelic for Kiss My Ass. I don't speak Gaelic, so I'm taking the words of others. You know, it was written on the internet, so it's got to be true. Next up, from 1996... The Vandals, Oi to the World, this is my favorite Christmas album by a mile. Uh, it's, it's, a, it's a great, great record. I love the photo on the back. I don't know how well you can make out some of the songs, but uh, song titles here, but Oi to the World. If you listen to that song, uh, look up the lyrics if you need to, to Oi to the World. It's a really fantastic original Christmas song that I think speaks to the Christmas spirit better than, than anything. Better than anything. 
A lot of great songs on here. I love the uh, the symphonic arrangements in uh, Christmas Time for My Penis. It's a it's a thoughtful it's a thoughtful song as well. But the the fact that it's like you know this punk band singing you know Christmas song and backed by a full symphony is just it's hilarious and brilliant all at the same time. Uh, and also this album's from 1996 and it contains a song uh, My First Christmas as a Woman. So you know 20 years ahead of its time I would say. This is on Kung Fu Records. Can't really make too much out of that, but Kung Fu Records. And this came with an ornament? Some cheesy one. Yeah. Came with just like a little cardboard ornament. And the last record I'll show is, uh, this is a... This is Old Man Gloom Christmas. Uh, this is very, very, it's doom. Is it? Yeah, I, I would, I, if I had to pick one genre, I would say this is doom metal. And uh, let's look at the song titles. This is a uh, 2012 reissue of the album. It came out originally in 2004. And... Uh, what is this on? Hydra Head Records. So, you know, when we have people over on Christmas Eve and uh, they're starting to lag, uh, not getting the hint to leave, I'm actually going to put this on. I'm going to put it on loud because it will be Christmas music. I'm going to be the only one that likes it, though. And I assume people will skedaddle. So there you go. Five Christmas albums. Uh, again, embracing my ethos of a Christmas album that I want to hang on to should be a single artist album. Uh, one that I've considered getting, but I've never gotten. Uh, it's an it's an LP, but it's a short. It's like maybe 19 minutes long. Is uh, by Bad Religion. They have a Christmas album out. I don't know why that just feels wrong to me. Uh, I mean, it's Bad Religion. Religion. And it's a Christmas album, but just there was something about that that just feels like it's a it's a bit of a sellout. Not that every, everything I've shown isn't, but I, I just feel like maybe their heart's not into it. And I could be completely wrong. Uh, if you know of any uh, single artist Christmas albums that are really fantastic that you think I should uh, I should consider getting down the road, maybe for next Christmas, leave me a comment. Let me know. I'd love to hear it. Uh, otherwise, uh, for those who celebrate it, Merry Christmas. Uh, if you don't celebrate it, Happy Holidays. Uh, happy Wednesday. Catch you later. Oh, hey, one more thing about this Vandals album. Uh, one thing I really love about this album is that apparently it used to be owned by somebody named Boogie. That's fantastic. That's, you know, that's, that's kind of one of the great things about, you know, owning used albums. You know, they've lived a life. Uh, Merry Christmas, Boogie.